Newly commissioned DCSN Manufacturing Incorporated, a more than $200 million investment by Essequibo-Coast businessman Suresh Jagmohan will aid the rapid infrastructural development and transformation of Guyana. Minister of Public Works Bishop Juan Edgehill and Minister of Housing and Water Colin Cole on Sunday attended the commissioning ceremony at Little Diamond, East Bank Demerara. Minister Edgehill explained how this company will assist in accelerating Ghana's development drive. With this technology and availability on the market, we can now have bridges for 50 years plus that could be installed in half or less of the time than it took for normal construction. Because you can have the members prepared and assembled off-site and in seven to ten days, you could have a new bridge installed. Government is on a rapid drive to develop Ghana's transport infrastructure with the expansion of the East Coast Highway, the Ogle to Timiri Carriageway, the Schooner to Crane Bypass Road, Parika to Goshen Road, Kurupakari to Letham Link, Linden to Mabura Hill Road, and the upgrade of the Swiss Dyke Linden Highway, just to name a few. With companies like this one and investments that are being made by the private sector and the risks that are being made, taken by others to venture out. Of course, in an environment with a visionary government that is giving clear signals to the private sector, Guyana's future is very, very bright and I'm confident in that. We will continue to provide the enabling envir environment for the buoyant development of our private sector. We will continue to create that environment that instills confidence, gives hope that people can see opportunities to invest. We don't want our capital to be moving to foreign jurisdictions. We want our capital to be invested in Guyana. Government is also on a massive housing initiative, already having distributed more than 13,000 house lots. Minister of Housing and Water Colin Crowe noted that the business venture will help the supply chain in ensuring projects are completed on time. So the major projects and the rapid growth in both the public and private spending on infrastructure, real estate, other concrete incentive projects have seen, therefore, a heavy demand for even cement and other building materials. Unfortunately, that is why there's a niche here. The local market is not always able to supply the demand to the demand that is required. This plant will therefore lend critical support for these highway projects. Managing Director of DCSN Manufacturing Incorporated, Concrete Batching and Pre-Pressed Plant, Chitanya Jagmohan, said the establishment will produce piles for deep foundations, concrete slabs for bridge decks, sheet piles for retaining wall structures, precast culverts and utility poles, among others. The company recognized that it is competent to produce and supply such products to the local market and took the opportunity to do so.